It is Black Friday in GT Online, which means there are tons of big sales on lots of different vehicles and some properties. And in this video, I'm going to go over each of them and let you know what's worth getting and what you should probably avoid buying. Before we get into it though, I just want to tell you guys that the footage from the website is not going to be showing the discounted amount because I'm recording this before the discounts are actually live. But in game, if you go and look at them right now, you will see the discounted prices. So first up, yachts and the renovations are all 50% off. This one, I think, is a pass. The yacht really doesn't serve much of a purpose outside of just chilling out there or doing piracy prevention. If you don't have hundreds of millions of dollars laying around, you should probably go ahead and avoid this as it's really just a money pit that they're hoping you fall into for the next DLC coming up. The Deluxo is 50% off. For PvP, this is a very good vehicle, one of the best ones, but you will need an Avenger or MOC in order to put the missiles on it, which could be a problem for some people. If you don't do PvP and are only interested in PvE content though, the Deluxo really isn't the best. There are much better alternatives, even in this video that we're going to get into. The OG rocket vehicle, the Ruiner 2000, is 40% off, and I'm going to have to say, avoid this one. Dropping a few mil on this vehicle just is not worth it at all. The standard form of it just sucks. Only 8 missiles, it's slow, not armored at all. So unless you get it for the sole purpose of doing fully loaded so you can get the good version, just save your money. The Luxor and Luxor Deluxe are both 40% off, and I'm going to include the next ones here, the Swift and the Swift Deluxe, because they're kind of similar. And yeah, it might be a big discount specifically on the Golden Aircraft, but these are just show-off planes and helicopters, bad investments if you're low on cash, so best to avoid them in my opinion. Moving on, we have the Scramjet with a half-off discount. This is a very niche PvP vehicle. If you know how to use it or plan to learn how to use it properly, it can be good, and it's also really fun. If you're not much into PvP though, I would say don't buy it. You'll find better vehicles for doing PvE content. Next, we have one of these service vehicles, the Avenger. This is 50% off, and if you had just bought a Deluxo and need somewhere to upgrade it, it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and get this as well, because you're likely never going to see a discount this good for some time. The Terrador is half off as a part of this event, and I would prioritize this vehicle over the Deluxo and the Scramjet. If you have to choose one, get the Terrador. Not only is it armored, but it has unlimited missiles with good enough tracking to shoot down any hostile Deluxos, oppressors, or in PvE, basically any enemy type. Plus, it can go underwater and has a boost. It's really one of the best vehicles in the entire game, objectively. And to top it off, it can be used in heist missions. So 100% a buy if you don't have one already. Moving on, both the Oppressor Mark 1 and Oppressor Mark 2 are on sale, and I would say that both are worth it. However, just know that in order to upgrade them to their full potential, you're going to need research done for the Mark 1 Oppressor, at a nightclub, and a terabyte for the Mark 2, which are two other big investments. Even though the Mark 2 Oppressor is still good at getting around the map, just as a way of transportation, even if you don't have missiles on it, but it's important to know you're going to need those two other big investments if you want to put rockets on it. It's one of your best grinding vehicles, but let me be clear, if you are buying the Mark II for PvP purposes specifically, then you're a <laughs> Casino Penthouse decorations are half off, not a huge deal. If you have tons of money and chips and nothing else to buy in the game, then I guess just buy everything while it's on sale. The Alkanos is half off. <laughs> Don't buy it. The Charter Bug is also 50% off, and yeah, pretty much the same deal as the Alkanos. Horrible vehicle. Do not purchase. And lastly, we have some regular cars that are discounted for Black Friday. The Torero XO, SM722, and the LM87. These are all 40% off. And this one's going to be a bit subjective because everyone likes different cars, but the Torero XO and LM87 are very fun to drive. They drive very nicely. And the good news is these cars are actually available to test drive at the car meet right now, so you can decide if you want them after taking them for a spin if you'd like. I usually recommend not buying regular cars this time of the year though because the next update is right around the corner and there's likely going to be a car that you want in that DLC, but that's only a recommendation if you have like 10 to 20 million dollars, anything over that and you're probably fine. But those are all the Black Friday discounts for you in GT Online. These will be lasting until November 28th, so you have the entire weekend to make your purchases. Come Monday, they'll be back to their regular prices. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving, and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.